But let's get through this last game that I've got written down here. BYU 21, Washington State 19. This was a hell of a ball game. Hell of a ball yeah. game. And a lot this, closer than I thought. This was a team in Washington State that was fired up because of everything that had happened to them. I, I believe there was extra motivation for them to to try and get this win. BYU, I think, was just the overall better team. But looking at the overall stats here, and, and this will tell you know the storyline of the game, and that is BYU, who was a four point favorite at kick, only won twenty one to nineteen. They won yardage three eighty five to three fifty. Uh, they ran the ball ridiculously well on Washington State. Two thirty eight to ninety three uh, was the rushing yard difference there. They won turnovers one to nothing. All the points came on drives of sixty plus yards. Every but there were no gimmies in this game, and that was awesome. Washington State won yards per play five point eight to five point six. They won third downs sixty four percent to sixty two percent. BYU had a fourth down failure. They missed a 45-yard field goal. Each team had three touchdowns, and Wazoo was 0 out of 2 on two-point tries. This was very encouraging if you are a Washington State fan going forward this season. I I don't think that there is anything that crazy that, that, that would keep them from winning, you know, eight ball games this year. Like, they, there's a way that they could certainly not win eight. There's a way that they could not win six. But... I I tend to believe that this this program, the foundation has been built for them to be pretty good. Not just I think it started with Leach, but I think that the program itself has been built up in such a way that whoever comes in is going to be able to have success fairly quickly. I mean, it was kind of the same with Nick Rolovich, right? It, normally, it takes a long time at Washington State to shift to whatever your philosophy is, and in this situation, I kind of lean that Washington State has built up their their football prowess quite a bit. And even in a loss to BYU, I, I think it was certainly commendable the way that they played. Uh, How would you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I agree with that. It, it is commendable. I don't know that it's sustainable. Yeah, I, yeah I, so part of me thought that, and then part of me was leaning the way that I that I just talked. and And I think... I mean, you have obviously it all is based on making the right hire. I think Rolovich was the right hire, regardless of all this other political crap that is going on. Rolo's a good football coach, and if you continue to hire good football coaches, like you've already got a foundation built there, that they're going to be pretty good. Uh, looking at Washington State's uh, schedule coming up, they uh, they are sitting at four and four on the season right now, but they've got at Arizona State and at Oregon in the next two. They've got at Washington and they got Arizona. I could see them winning any of those games, like any of them. I could also see them losing any of them except for Arizona, right? So, I I mean, you get me it, – it, maybe maybe when I said eight wins, that might be a little little much because I thought this team was at four and two. I just overlooked it. I could still see them getting to seven. They could beat one of Arizona State or Oregon even on the road. They could certainly beat Arizona or Washington. Like, I, I think I this is a pretty good football team. So I, I don't. It, it maybe maybe it was just a one game sample size that they were you know right in the ball game with BYU, but either way, we shall see. We shall see. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.